Hi guys, it's Crystal and Jen here, and we're back with another awesome recipe. Jen, what are we making today? Well, we're gonna do the acorn squash and wild rice stuffing. Mm, that sounds amazing. I know, doesn't that look good? That's in our newsletter. See the recipe on the back of that? And yeah, I'm super excited, and um, not, not, not too hard to make. Nope. We're gonna go ahead and go over the ingredients with you guys, um, and um, I'll read it, and Crystal will kind of show you some of the cool stuff we got. We're gonna do um, acorn squash, which look how pretty that is. And it's the perfect size to the servings, I think. Yeah, right. I think it's, it's a really good size. Yeah. yeah, those are really pretty. We're gonna do one cup cooked wild rice. Um, and we'll go ahead and make that according to the to the box. Oh, yep, right um, yep, that's the wild rice. Or you can use, you brought some quinoa too, yeah. which is really good as well. So either one, whatever you guys wanna do with that. Like we say, you can always make the recipe a little bit different if, if you choose to. Yep. Um, whatever you yeah, like. yeah. Um, two tablespoons of avocado oil. We're gonna use bison today. We're gonna bison. go. Yeah, we're gonna go with the bison. And then of course, um, Crystal always has a meat substitute. Yep, my um, Yeah, that calls for some garlic, yep. green onions. Some beautiful green onions. Mm, those are pretty. Fresh uh, spinach. We got some yeah, spinach. Right. And then salt and pepper. So really, I mean, ingredients, probably a little bit um, of what you might even have in your house already. I know I do. So, um, you know, it wouldn't be too hard on the grocery list, I don't think. And then you have a few spices as well. And we added some spices, just for a little bit more flavoring. I got oregano and some parsley. So you can add whatever you'd like in there. Um, alrighty, Jen, so let's get started and make it then. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna cut this in half. Um, these ones aren't quite as hard to cut as some of the other um, um, squash that we have worked with in the past. So, but still, as always, be careful because they are a little tough to cut. You want a good sharp knife. Um, okay, and then scoop out the inside, the seeds. Pretty easy, comes pretty clean. Um, so we'll do this other side in a second. And then what we did, we had prepped um, a couple of these because they take a um, few minutes to cook. So we wanted to roll our film along. But what we did was we just took these out, put them on some foil and, um, and we cooked those in the oven. And I was thinking you could sprinkle these on top um, for a garnish after you're done. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, this coconut oil. You can use olive oil or coconut oil, whatever you want to use is fine. And then what we'll do is we will brush that on the outside here for when you're cooking. Get some on the inside too. All right. And then the way you're gonna cook these is you're gonna put them this way on the cookie sheet or a cast iron pan or whatever it is you're gonna cook them in the oven for. These cook at, let's see, it says 425 for 20 minutes. The ones that I cooked took about 30, 35 minutes. And basically what you want is to make sure that this stuff is getting soft in here because you're gonna scoop some of this out, okay? Okay, so we got these all ready. Salt and pepper, oiled them, got all that. We're gonna put them in the oven and get those started. Okay, so Jen mentioned that we did have the wild rice that we've already um, been preparing, but I did wanna mention that I did purchase um, some quinoa. It is lower in carbs, so if you're watching your carbs, this would be the perfect option for you, and it takes about five minutes to cook. So if you are in a pinch of time, this would be another perfect option. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start on our bison. We're gonna prepare that. Okay, and we also have our meat substitute um, that we will be cooking today also, um, and we'll be preparing. So let's get started on that. Okay, so now we're gonna be preparing the bison. So with that entails, we're gonna be chopping up our green onions, getting them all ready. Um, our garlic too, and then with our spinach, we're not gonna be adding this till the very end. So we'll show you guys that over here after we're done um, cooking the bison. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cook our bison now. I really like bison, it's super lean and I feel like it's really tasty. So we got that cooking and we will go ahead and add our green onions and our garlic. 
And then we're gonna add a little bit of oregano in there too. That'll be pretty good. And some parsley. I'm gonna stir that up in there and let that still cook. Obviously you wanna cook your bison all the way through, just like hamburger meat, if you're cooking hamburger meat. And then the recipe calls for, um, you can add um, some chili pepper if you want, and I am going to do that. We got some New Mexico mild red chili. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Let's see. Stir that up. Look how good that looks. It's gonna be tasty. And in a couple minutes, we'll add our spinach. You don't wanna add your spinach too quickly um, because um, it gets wilty pretty quick, so. All right, we'll let that cook just for a couple minutes more and call it good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of spinach in here. Take a minute to get to get wilted. You just kind of stir that in there and get that back hot. We made our meat substitute over here, and it's got its spinach getting a little wilty. And then in a minute, we'll go ahead and add our rice that we cooked, the wild rice, which turned out awesome. It's really pretty, and it looks really tasty. big holes in them. Um, it just says to scrape it out if you want it. The hole's not big enough, but I think these, as you can see, the holes are big enough to put what we need in as far as serving size goes. All right, as always, I'm always excited to put everything together as is Crystal. And look at these beautiful acorn squash that we that we baked up. It's so pretty fun. Yeah, color and everything. And then what we're gonna do is, serving size, we brought a half a cup and we feel like that's gonna be enough. I have the bison. Um, Crystal has the uh, meat substitute, which was the cheap chorizo crumble, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's gonna have a little bit different flavor, obviously, than this, um, than the bison, because it's gonna be a little spicier, but that's gonna be really good, too. All right, so we're gonna take our cup, put it in there. Oh, oh and it fits perfect. Yeah. And that's the good, good serving size, right, on that? I think that's plenty and a half a cup. I mean, that's that's enough, right? Yeah. So, Crystal, we also baked the um, seeds from the inside of the acorn, and we're gonna sprinkle those on there. Those just had a little bit of, um, of the coconut oil with salt and pepper on them, and we just thought that would be kind of fun, and so we didn't really waste anything of this beautiful squash. And yeah, so we're gonna give it a we're gonna go we're gonna give it a taste a sample now. So here's your fortune. Thank you. Here's mine. Ready? Bon appetit. Okay. Bon appetit. I'm super excited for this. Wow, this is really good. Um, for me, I have to get a bite of everything. There's a nice to get and all mixed up. <laughs> and that is so good. That acorn squash is good. I don't know if we've done acorn squash before. Mm -hmm. It's a very sweet squash. Mm -hmm. Mm, and with the nuts, mm -hmm. with the seeds on top, you get a little bit of crunch. Yeah, really earthy and yummy. Mm -hmm. Try mine. It, mine has a little hint of sweet and spicy. So, definitely mm -hmm. a... Crystal okay, won't try her. mine because it has the meat, but I'm going to try hers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Yay. I'm super excited about this meal. a great... A great flavorful recipe. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. You know, um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like um, Thanksgiving. Yeah. These yes. would be great, huh? Easy to make. Yep. That you can have for like a little yeah. side dish that someone could get. Yeah. So like all together, maybe to maybe an hour. Yeah. Because I mean, 
and everything. It wasn't um, bad at so all. It's not a bad meal um, to make, yeah. Super low and carb, too. Super low carb. And healthy. Like I said, that acorn squash yeah. is delicious. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. all right guys. Hope you hope you make it. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. Crystal always says, yes. Please like, comment, and subscribe below, guys. If you guys do end up trying this meal, um, let us know what you guys think about it and if you added anything to it. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye. See you later.